this is the image that we're going to work on. Um, this is the way it was when I took the picture. I intentionally adjusted the exposure to try and make sure I had plenty of detail in the highlight area. But I don't want to work on it this dark, so I went in and shadow highlight and opened it up so that this is what I had to work with. Now, there's a lot of things I want to fix on this image before I try and enhance it. One thing is that I don't like the way this branch comes across the leaf, so I'm going to clone that all out. And then when I get done, the leaf is going to be too close to the edge, so I'm going to want to expand it out so I can see more of the leaf. I'm also going to want to sharpen it and do a little color correction and then crop it. So this is the image once I've finished prepping it to begin. You can say I added just a little bit more space here because that was too close. Cloned in this information and took out the branch. Sharpened the image up quite a bit. Did a little bit more color and uh, exposure adjustment. And now I'm ready to start adding my effects, my, my painterly look. And it's important that you do everything you can possible to make the image as good as possible before you try and apply any effects. That's going to make your end result much more successful. I am now ready to start adding my effect to the image. Now, I like to try and figure out what I want it to look like before I start, which makes it easier to make decisions when I'm going through the process. In this particular image, I don't think I want to make it look overly painterly. What I want to do is I just want to add some drawing detail which will crisp up my edges and make some of this internal detail look a little bit more realistic. So you don't always have to make it look tremendously different. Sometimes all you want to do is just enhance it. Like we can see this an awful lot of noise in this over here because I brought it up out of the deep shadow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sketching tool and uh, I'll get a result that will look like this. And you can see how it's added detail into these areas. The strokes from the pencil has added in an interesting texture. It's broken up all of the noise back here and created a nice subtle little addition to the image. So remember, you don't have to always overdo it. Sometimes what you want to do is just enhance it a little bit, just slightly, so people aren't even sure that you've done anything to it. So this is what we started with. And after the addition of the effect, this is what we ended up with. Very subtle. Now I'm going to walk through how I achieve this. Now I have duplicated my background layer because remember this editing, this particular editing program destroys the layer that you're working on so you always want to make sure you have an original backed up in your layers over here. So we're going to go on up and we're going to go down to Topaz and we're going to go to Impression. So here we are. Now we can see again there's lots of choices and sometimes you want to look at them because you really don't know. You might think you know what you want but until you check them out it's, it's hard to be sure. But I'm pretty sure we're going to work with the pencil effect. Now this is the default. This just means this is where we're starting and I already like the effect. I really like the way it looks. So if we want to adjust it we have to go in and click on the circle and then we get all of our adjustments. Now, you can see there's open white space in here. That's the paper showing through. A lot of artists will put an undercolor, an underpainting color underneath that so it's more interesting than the white when it shows through. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to do that. We go to the very bottom and you see where it says background. You click here and your color picker will come up. And I've already picked a couple of colors. And I like the orange because I want something that's going to work with the leaves. If you want a night look, you can pick the blue. And you can see how that's already made the image much more visually interesting. So that's the first thing I do if I'm going to be working with something that has open areas in the effect. Now, we're going to come up here and we can see there's lots of different pencils. Well, really only three pencils. There's this one the straight line and then the bottom down here you have these two thin lines 
And this is the one I'm going to use because this actually has the most subtle effect on the image. It just adds a little bit of texture and detail to it. So we're going to play with our adjustments here and try and get that up where it will work for us. There, it's starting to come. Yeah, it's looking better. And remember, you, you, you've just got to move them around. Every image is different. You can't depend upon these adjustments affecting every image in the same way. I want some of this little splash in there, but I don't want too much. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, let's get down. And remember, we can adjust the color, individual colors. So I'm going to go in here and add a little bit more strength to the red. Try and bring up a little bit more red in the leaf. And see, we're starting to pick it up in here. So I've done that. Get down, and now we're going to pray with our lighting. I want this to pop. What you want to do is you want to watch your brightest area because if you take the brightness up so that you're losing detail in those areas, that's too much in my opinion. So I'm going to bring it back down. I like that. Let's see if giving a little bit more contrast does. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now, remember, we can come on over here where it says strength, and we can actually, in the program, we can blend this back to the original image. There's the original image, and you see I can bring this in at whatever strength I want. So I'm going to leave it about there. Remember, you can do this in Photoshop just by working between the layers. Say OK, and there it is. Before, after. To the backwards. This is after, and that's before. And remember, if I still think it's too strong, I can go on up and adjust the opacity on the layer and just bring it in slightly. And this just adds a nice visual interest. See how much better this leaf looks with that in there? And then all is just a matter of adding the signature, and it's ready to go. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, give it a like or leave a comment.